Hello friends, I'm Prabhat Sharma and today we will learn what is NetFlow and how to use it to analyze network traffic. NetFlow is a protocol using which networking devices like routers and switches send, data, send all the network information like how many packets are coming from, which source is going to which destination, what is the size of each packet, what is the protocol and various other information to some particular destination where you can actually analyze them. So the way essentially it works is that you have for these routers, which is any of the networking devices, which can send data using NetFlow protocol to a, net, to a NetFlow collector. There are various tools that are available, collectors that can capture this particular data from these devices. And then these net, NetFlow collectors, one is GoFlow2, which you can use, which can send to various, which can forward to other devices, other uh, softwares, which can be used to analyze the data. In this particular scenario, we will, we will use OpenObserve to receive all the NetFlow data and, and analyze it. Okay. So what all things can NetFlow be used for? It can be used to identify network traffic hogs. It can be used to troubleshoot bottlenecks, even identify security, security threats. And if you're a network service provider or an ISP, you can use it to bill your customers. It was built in 90s by Cisco. And today there are two major versions of uh, NetFlow, V5 and V9. Okay. In addition, and NetFlow actually quite became quite popular that even other vendors started adopting it and became, uh, and was quite good. And at one point in time, IETF essentially adopted it and built something called IPFIX uh, based on NetFlow version 9. So how does the NetFlow data uh, record look like? What data do you get? Okay, so this is a sample network, a sample sample record. You can get protocol information, uh, source address, somewhere like you might get destination network, destination port, address, and quite a bunch of information that you get. Okay. And all of this can be used to understand what is going on. So what are we going to do here uh, uh, in this particular uh, video? Uh, we'll download and run OpenObserve. Yeah. And uh, uh, then we'll use uh, NetFlow Generate. I do not really have a network, network devices. So what I'm going to do is that in order to simulate one of these devices, I'm going to use this software called NetFlow Generator, NFlow Generator which can generate sample data, sample NetFlow data, and can send it to a particular NetFlow collector. And then we, use, we will use GoFlow2 as a, a collector, NetFlow collector, and configure it to send data to OpenObserve. So let's go ahead and download OpenObserve first. Okay. Uh, okay. So download and run OpenObserve. You can go to the release page. Let's close this one. Uh, the latest version is 0.8.0 RC1. It's a pre-release version, but you could use any older or newer version as well. Pick up the latest version, whatever is available, uh, as in when you know, you're watching this particular video. I have a Mac M2 on which I'm running things right now. So Darwin ARM64, that is what I want. So copy, link address. And I don't really have anything here. I'll do wget and it should be here soon. Cool. Let's unzip it. We have got open observe. So that is all we have. Let's close this. Let's run this using this command. Essentially, uh, we are setting the user ID using the environment variable as well as the password using which we will log into OpenObserve. Just copy this and let's run this. Uh, so OpenObserve is up and running. Okay, right here you see, uh, we will use this user ID and password to log in. Okay. So we are in, we have an ingestion page here uh, using, and 
if you want to ingest data from various environments, you can use this. Uh, there are custom, there's a custom section where you can use specific uh, uh, log forwarder as well, or matrix forwarder, whatever that you're trying to do. But we'll not be using any of these today. Oh, we are, what we'll be using is, we'll be using GoFlow 2 to send data, uh, NetFlow data. Now what we are going to be doing is that we need to download GoFlow 2. And uh, essentially, if you see, this GoFlow 2 is, is uh, uh, GoFlow 2 essentially was the tool originally, originally developed at Cloudflare, where they use it to capture all the network traffic. And then it was moved to its own net sampler slash GoFlow 2 repository. So GoFlow 2 by default does not have uh, support for sending data to an HTTP endpoint, which is what uh, we did here at OpenMSO. We added uh, support for sending uh, data to data uh, NetFlow data from GoFlow 2 to an HTTP endpoint, which could be an open observe. It could be any other uh, HTTP endpoint as well. So what we're going to do is that we're going to go to releases and uh, there's no ARM64 release for this, but we'll pick up the x86 one that'll actually run as well. Uh, shell top to bottom okay we are going to do a w get we download this so it's here we have go flow 2 available now chmod plus x go flow 2 and we have made it um, executable so we can run it and mv Go flow to this, this super big name. We will shorten the name. Okay, so now we have this go flow to available over here. We are going to go ahead and run this now. So this is the command to run. Let, let's take a look at what what we have here. Go flow to is the binary. We are going to use the HTTP transport to send the data. And destination is going to be our local host 5080 where open observe is running batch size of 100 and then uh, how do we send authentication using authorization header and then the actual ingestion token so let's copy this and in fact first let's paste this here because we need to replace this ingestion token let's go to open observe uh, from here you can actually pick it up and let's paste this here we should be fine. Let's copy this and let's run this here. So we are good to go. This is running. So here, if you look at this particular diagram, we have open observe up and running. I'm the user, I'm here. GoFlow 2 is also run, up and running. Now we just need to get the NetFlow data in order for us to analyze it. Okay, now we'll use nflow generator. So nflow generator, if you take a look here, this is a, a GitHub repository for it. Uh, it NetFlow generator by uh, repository, they do not really provide uh, binary releases. Uh, they just provide a Docker image. Uh, we could use Docker image as well, but uh, building a binary is, is super easy too. Uh, all you have to do is essentially copy these three lines, git clone the repository, go to the repository and just do, run a go build, single go build command and you'll get the binary. So let's go ahead and run that. Shall split horizontally. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and paste it here, this command, clone the repository, go to the folder and go build. We did this and we have the nflow generator binary ready made available it will require go to be installed on your machine for this though okay so make sure that if you're trying to do this you have go installed okay now everything is running what i'm going to do is that run nflow generator nflow generator minus t is where am i sending it which is this local machine on port 2055 on which uh goflow 2 is running so let's copy this and run this here enter and yes you see 
data is has started coming in api default netflow one 200 so responses are being accepted and data is already flowing into open observe so let's try to take a look at let's do this let's go to the logs you already have data coming in congratulations not too difficult right this is cool so let's take a look at this what do we have here destination address okay uh, okay destination address what all do we have destination address e type okay our protocol let's add to the field which okay um sampler address source address this is all sample data okay destination address we have we have protocol source address maybe next next hop whatever that is we'll capture all of this information and we'll be able to see all of this so standard log logs uh we can do whatever we want with this we can build our own dashboards uh by going to dashboards here but you know what i have prepared some dashboards that you can actually download and use on it directly let's go to github open observe dashboards and you have got a folder for netflow some of there are some of these dashboards that you could actually use that are pre-built and you could use them just like that let's go and, and copy this uh, netflow activity dashboard import i'll space this here we essentially copied this by clicking here and import natural activity and we have the data coming in cool now let's go ahead and import the next one activity we did copy that netflow top items dashboard let's copy this here and import import dashboard from json import okay we had the activity we did see that we have top items okay cool top destination addresses top source addresses uh top source uh, sources by traffic volume okay top destinations by top uh, by traffic volume you get all of these uh there's we have one more dashboard that is that that is dashboard that is available okay so okay if you try to copy this and run this this might not work and uh, let's see why well, this might not work geography it doesn't show anything why because by default there is no geographical information available oops okay so there is no geographical information available in order for us to do that we can actually add a vrl function so open comes uh, when it uh, essentially downloads the maxmind uh, uh, database goip database uh, when it runs and you can actually use that uh, uh, for enriching the data so this is a vrl function you can actually paste any uh, any vrl function here okay and what we are going to be doing is that we'll create four new fields gst geo and get enrichment table record max mind city and ip destination address so this is the address destination address that we're picking up i will run this here and if there is some information available Let's search for geo if there's country name that is available say like belgium so this is like private ip addresses ip addresses so you they'll not uh, essentially be mapped to a particular physical location but as long as something is available it's there so now we are running this vrl function in the at the query time so it will not be saved so what we need to do is let's just save this function okay and rich um and rich our netflow data netflow data okay let's save this particular function and let's go to streams uh not streams let's go to functions and stream association let's click on this associate function and enrich netflow data okay now that we have done this any new records that will come okay yeah so the, the data has started coming in there's no function here we still are getting data for all the new records okay so if there is data it will come 
if, it, if uh, there is a mapping for this particular IP address, and these are all fake IP addresses, so some might uh, click and some might not. So now let's go to the dashboard and let's look at geography. Okay, so you are able to get location, uh, this uh, map this particular uh, dashboard, uh, dashboard. So some of the information is available. And it looks like we have some information available here around 10 sources from US, 10 destinations to US. Uh, okay, the number is increasing every time 14. And there are based on the number of packets, top sources and top destinations. So yeah, I think uh, we have covered quite a lot here. Uh, you can also create your own alerts uh, and based on um, one of the things that you want to do is that if there's a traffic spike, you want to get alerted. So that is something that you can do. Uh, so I'll stop here. Feel free to let us know if there are any questions and any improvements or suggestions. Happy to know. And yeah, that's it. Have a good day ahead. Bye-bye.